G'day, it's Chris Betcher here. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about creating administrator roles inside the G Suite Admin Console. And you'll see just above me right here, there's an icon for admin roles. So let's give that a click. It's one of the modules inside the Admin Console. And it will take me into the section that lets me control and manage administrators. Now, administrators inside uh, inside the Google Admin Console or any, any sort of computer administration system have special powers to do things that regular users can't do. Now, if you're a super admin, which is this role here, you can do everything. Basically, you can turn anything on and off. You have full control over everything in the system. But there are different types of administrators that have a restricted range of admin powers. So they can't do everything, but they can do some things. So you can see you can have a group administrator, a help desk administrator, and so on and so on. So I just want to show you how you actually create an administrator role and assign it to someone to give them limited powers to do certain things. And the way you create a new role, there's a button here that says create a new role, strangely enough, and you give it a name and a description. Now I've already created one that I wanna show you. So there's one down here called password manager. One of the things that you often get in a school or a business is um, someone forgets their password. And so uh, rather than go to the administrator all the time, you could, if you wanted, assign certain people within the organization or the school to be able to have the power to reset a password. They can't do anything else, they can just reset a password. So all the burden for that doesn't fall on the super administrator all the time. So I've created a role here called Password Manager. And when you go in there, you'll notice that there's two tabs at the top. It says Admins, which is the people who have this power, and Privileges, which is the list of powers that they have. So let's just click on Privileges for a moment. And you'll see that as this unpacks here, you can scroll down, you can see the only thing that's turned on for this particular user is the ability to reset a password. Now, you'll notice some of the other ones are, are here, they're, they're kind of grayed out. That's because in order to turn this one on, it has some dependencies. You can't obviously reset a password unless you can read the list of users. And you can't read the list of users unless you can see the list of OUs. And so, for example, if you turn something on, uh, like resetting a password, it will automatically turn on the dependencies so you have that power. So that's how you create uh, a new role and define the powers of that role. And I could I could give them additional powers if I wanted. Okay, so once you do that, then you go back to the admin. Sorry, uh, do I want to navigate away? Yes, I do. I didn't make any changes. So if I go back here you now to the admins tab, and in here now I can assign a person to be in charge of doing that. So if I click on the assign admins, it brings up here and asks me who do I want to assign. Now, in this particular dummy domain, I have a whole bunch of uh, dummy characters that are all based around the Simpsons. So if I just put in, um, say, Bart's email address there and give them admin rights on, and if you have different... Uh, like sections or OUs within your domain, you can give them just the powers on one section. So perhaps you only want this person to be able to reset passwords for students. Okay, so we'll just say select that. So what we've just said here is this person, Bart at gave.me, has the ability to reset a password, but only for the student OU. Confirm that assignment. And that is now set. So this user now has the ability to only reset passwords. And the way they do that is they would go into admin.google.com. They would log in using their username and password. And when they go in there, unlike the super admin that sees all the buttons to do everything, they will only see the relevant buttons to let them reset a user password. 